What is going on, everybody? This is the kid DC Wrestling back at it again with another video. And Eric Bischoff said it best. I'm back and I'm better than ever. The last video I made was the May 31st, 2021 episode Monday Night Raw review. The reason why I haven't been uploading on YouTube as much in a while, it's been nearly a week now, is because me and my family have actually been on vacation for the past week. And we just pulled in this afternoon and we're finally back from vacation. We had an amazing time. We were in Florida. I mean, just an amazing time. And it was really special for us because this was actually the first time that you know, we went on vacation since the summer of 2019, August of 2019, to be exact. And, you know, with the pandemic, we weren't able to go nowhere. And with this being our first time like, really out, you know, it was just awesome. And we had a great time and, you know, we needed it. We, we really needed this vacation. Like this vacation, we really, really needed it. So the fact that we were able to, you know, be gone for a week, and it was just amazing. So... That's where I've been at. But as much as I enjoyed vacation, I'm happy to be back. I'm happy to make videos for you guys, to bring you guys wrestling content. And so much wrestling stuff has happened while I was gone. I mean, we've had guys, we've had people getting released from the WWE. We've had Andrade El Igolo show up in AEW. Just so much stuff happened in wrestling while I was gone. And it's just crazy how... You miss so much when you're gone for such amount of time. But like I said, I'm back now and I'm again happy to bring you guys wrestling content. And my first wrestling video back will be NXT TakeOver In Your House 2021 review. The show will be taking place this Sunday night, June 13, 2021. And I believe this will actually be taking place at the Performance Center. So we have five matches on this card. This is shaping up to be a really good event. Obviously, NXT TakeOver never disappoints. So we're not going to waste any time. We're going to get right to it. We have a winner-takes-all six-man tag team match for the NXT North American Championship and the NXT Tag Team Championships as Bronson Reed and MSK team up to take on the team of Legado del Fantasma, Santos Escobar, Joaquin Wilde, and Raul Mendoza. Does anyone, like... Looking at this, does this kind of remind you of, was it Backlash 2009, I believe it was, where Legacy you had Ted DiVocity Jr. and Randy Orton and Cody take on, you know, Batista, Shane McMahon, and Triple H, and basically that was how Randy Orton won the WWE Championship in the six-band tag team match. This is kind of what it reminds me of, but... Nonetheless, I got Bronson Reed and MSK getting the win here. Bronson Reed just won the North American Championship against Johnny Gargano. It was a pretty good steel cage match, to say the least. So this is shaping up to be a really good six-man tag team match between six great competitors. But in the end, Bronson Reed and MSK will come out and they will retain their titles. We do have a singles match between Mercedes Martinez versus Exia Lee. This is really interesting. Um... You know, because, like, I never thought I would see Mercedes Martinez take on Exile Lee. So, this is, like, shaping up to be really interesting. Like, I'm actually interested to see how this match plays out. But, in the end, I got Exile Lee getting the win here. I think NXT, Triple H, Road Dog, Sean, and them. I think big plans are in store for Exile Lee in the future. So, I really would. I would be shocked if uh, she doesn't get the win here over Mercedes Martinez. But... That's why I'm predicting to win this match. Exile Lee to pick up the win over Mercedes Martinez. We have a ladder match. Yes, it was announced on NXT TV tonight that a ladder match will take place for the Million Dollar Championship between Cameron Grimes and LA Knight. Obviously, the big, you know, again, the Million Dollar Championship is going after this. Um, Cameron Grimes and Ted DiBiase. I love Cameron Grimes. I love this character. It really makes him stand out well. I think one of the main problems with NXT is that they don't have a lot of like characters and not hardly anyone stands out. So it's really good that you have guys like Karen Cross, guys like Cam Cameron Grimes that stand out. And as much as I am a fan of Cameron Grimes and his, and his, and his gimmick, 
I do think LA Knight will get the win here because, again, LA Knight just feels like someone who seems more of a promising role in NXT. Some will even say that he kind of reminds you of how EC3 probably should have been booked when he was in NXT. But nonetheless, LA Knight is going to get the win here in this, what will probably be a really good ladder match, to say the least. We have the NXT Women's Championship being defended as Raquel Gonzalez defends her title against Ember Moon. Um, obviously, these guys have been feuding with each other, uh, and um, this is shaping up to be really good. As much as I love Ember, you guys know me, I'm a fan of Ember Moon, especially with her and Shotzi Blackheart. I don't see Ember picking up the win, obviously. I see Raquel Gonzalez retaining her belt. And I think that what they're going to do with Raquel, because they've been teasing it for the past few weeks of her and Dakota, like, splitting. So what I think is going to happen is I think we're ultimately, like, the payoff is going to be either most likely Raquel turning on Dakota. I don't really see Dakota turning on Raquel. Raquel just feels like more of a heel, and Dakota's obviously that baby face. So Raquel turns on Dakota. You know, this is where Dakota gets her up come up come up and, and she finally gets her revenge, her payback, and she finally wins the NXT Women's Championship. But that's down the line, not the future. That's how I think they're gonna go about it. And um as far as this match goes, I got Raquel Gonzalez picking up the win here. Alright, in our main event, we have a fatal five way match for the NXT championship. Karen Cross versus Kyle O'Reilly versus Adam Cole versus Johnny Gargano. Versus Pete Dunne. This is shaping up to be the match of the night. Uh, low key. Like this. No not even low key. Like this is going to be the match of the night. This is going to be a really good. Fiddle five way match for the NXT title. It can't get any better than this. But in the end. Karen Cross will retain his championship. I, I think that what's going to happen. You know. It's going to look like maybe Kyle Riley is going to get the win. But Karen Cross is going to find a way to retain his belt. And then that's going to lead to probably Karen Cross versus Kyle O'Reilly. E even though Karen Cross should not be losing his title anytime soon, keep the title on Karen Cross. I mean, Karen Cross just—he's quite possibly the biggest star right now in the next year. Like that, there's no one on that show that comes close to him. Uh, I don't know. This could be Adam Cole's final NXT. Who, who knows? After this, Adam Cole could go up to the main roster. I don't know what they're going to do with Gargano. Pete Dunn, I could see him potentially going up to the main roster soon. Kyle O'Reilly, I, I really feel like he's still going to be in NXT. But as far as tonight, well, not tonight, but Sunday night goes, Karrion Cross gets the win here. Again, this is going to be a really good match for the NXT Championship. Anyways, guys, that has been my NXT TakeOver In Your House 2021 predictions preview. Quick update. Um, my thoughts on the release is kind of shocking. The two shocking wrestlers that I was shocked that got released the most was Strowman and Alistair. Strowman, because two, three weeks ago, he had a really great match at WrestleMania Backlash with Lashley and Drew. And Alistair, I mean, the dude literally was just was about to feud with Big E, and he gets released like that. And it's just like, man, like, they're going to bring Big E back, and it's just like... We're just going to forget the whole Alistair situation happened. So I don't know how they're going to do that. I don't know how they're going to bring Big E back from that without acknowledging what happened. I don't know. But we're just going to have to see what happens. We're just going to have to play it by ear. And then Andrade showing up in AW. I wasn't really shocked when that happened um, because it, it was it was... It was like, okay, like, we knew it was going to happen. Like, I'm not shocked. Everybody was all my, oh, like, oh, my God, I tried this in AW. Oh, my God, this is the biggest timing in AW history. Where I'm sitting here like, bro, like, this ain't even a shock. You're like, come on now. And um, also, we got a new IWGP heavyweight champion in, sorry if I mispronounced his name, but Shingo Takachi. Uh, he defeated Okada to win the new IWGP World Championship. Really shocking. I thought they were going to get the title to Okada, but it seems like they have a lot of faith in Tagachi. So, like I said, you know, we're just going to see what happens. Anyways, subscribe to the channel, like, comment. This has been the kid, DC Wrestling. And so, um, yeah.